Hello mystery lovers, we are still playing the case of the angry arsonist and let us speak to Mr. Grimes. This is a nightmare. My entire stock of whoopee cushions is melted. And just look at my electric can buzzers. They're few solid. This place is ruined. I'll have to find a new location and start over. I wish I'd sold to Brass Monkey when I had the chance. Their owner, Mr. Edwards, made me another offer at dinner at Swank's Cafe just last week. I can't believe I turned him down. That crook crank must have broken the window to get in to done this for revenge. I fired him last week and he was furious about it. Alright, let's look at this window break. The window near the door is broken. The glass from the window is... <laughs> the glass from the broken window is outside the shop. It looks as though the window was broken from inside. Yeah, clear-cut case of arson. If ever I saw one. Biggest mistake that anyone could make in a TV show or a game. Gotta break the glass from the outside. Make it look like an accident. Not make it look like you're just incompetent. There's a there's a used matchbook by the door on the sh by the door of the shop. Actually, that's not by anywhere near the door. That's near his feet. The matchbook is from Swank's hotel. All right, let's go to Swang's Hotel. Maybe they will have something more to tell us. Being right next door. Come on, here we go. Swang's is a really fancy hotel. They have the best restaurant in town. It's also the most expensive place to place to eat in Ridgeview. Miss Case is the manager. Let's speak to Mrs. Case. I heard the fire engine last night towards the end of my shift. Thank goodness the, sp the flames didn't spread to our building. Mr. Grimes must be very upset. Ironically, he was having a late dinner here, right next door to the fire. He left just around 9.30. If he'd stayed a little bit longer, he would have seen the flames himself. Oh, that, you kn that, that even looks worse for you, Mr. Grimes. Man, what a bummer for Mr. Grimes. He hangs out here a lot. The guy's a lousy tipper, though. He took Mr. Edwards to dinner here just last week. He was really trying to butter him up, I guess. I was doing a waitering shift in the cafe, and he had me bring them a bottle of champagne. Mr. Grimes even asked for a matchbook with the Swank's logo on it, but he doesn't smoke. Weird. Maybe he was planning to burn the place down last week. Um, yeah. Thanks, Chuck. A scheduled tack to the sign of the registration desk shows that Mrs. Case worked at the hotel from 4 p.m. to midnight last night. The matchbook on the counter is the same as the one found at the Grimes Novelties and Gax. Okay. Yeah, it looks like a very clear-cut case of arson. But, you know, let's have to investigate everything. Let's see what Mr. Crank has to say. Let's see if he has anything to say. <laughs> Everyone in Richview knows Professor Crank. He teaches over at the college in Mount Vernon. He's very, very smart, but a little strange. Well, what do you have to say? Grimes was a cheapskate. I can't say I'm too worried to hear he's having troubles. I worked part-time for him, inventing new practical jokes until last week. Then he ups and fires me for no reason at all. Well, he told me that he was having financial troubles. I guess that's true. He hasn't sold many of my jokes lately. Okay, what you got here? Crank's work table is cluttered with beakers and test tubes. What in the world is that? A bubble beaker on the test tube is labeled instant garden slugs. Hey, you two come away from there. That one's not patented yet. I was up all night just getting the right mixture of dehydrated slime and slime te slug textured instant gel for that project. It will be a great prank if I can figure out just how to get them squirm after you add water. Uh, okay, thanks, Professor Crank. That's a great idea you had there, buddy. Let's go to the police station. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, hurry up, Jennifer. No, it's not cool, Jennifer. Come on, hurry up. The police may be able to tell us more about the fire. 
Let's pay him a visit. You say that when we're there? You should say that before we get here. Anyway, let's speak to the chief. Ha! Oh, I see the Eagle Eye Detective Agency's on the case. Great to see you, Jennifer. Can't mess up. Your help is always welcome. I'm afraid we're at a dead, one, dead end on this one. The crime scene lab examined the guest count found at the, the scene of crime, but there were no fingerprints. The arsonist was very co careful to cover his tracks. Okay. The police computer shows the results from the crime lab. Oh, more classified information we should not be seeing. <laughs> the lab report says the fire was started with gasoline, a very highly flammable liquid. Education! But then everyone should know that. The report says Mr. Grimes insured his business for one million dollars. The policy states that he will receive the full one million dollars in case of fire. One million dollars! Uh. Alright, let's go to Brass Monkey Antiquities. Do, 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 do. Whoop! Mm. I don't know if we've met any of these people before. Mr. Edwards owns the Brass Monkey Antique Store. Let's ask him if he knows anything about the fire. Alright, let's speak to him. Arsene oh, Grimes novelty? How awful, thank heavens! I didn't jump on Grimes' offer. He was trying to convince me to buy the store last week over dinner, but I told him I'm not ready to open a new branch yet, especially one so close to your store that you already have. It's like on the same street. What were you thinking, Grimey? I couldn't help overhearing, Jennifer. Poor Mr. Grimes. This will ruin him. He'll never be able to p afford the payments on his new store now. Which new store? I thought the novelty shop was his only business. Well, as you know, I teach part-time at Teddy Bear's Picnic Preschool. The pay is low, so to help make ends meet, I also sell real estate. Mr. Grimes saw one of my clients. Oh, was one of my clients. He recently bought a new storefront at the mall through me. He planned to open his shop next month. <sighs> Dodgy. Let's speak to this stuck-up-looking bitch. I mean, snob. Ooh. Him. Is there anything I can help you two with? I uh, help you with something. We're investigating the fire over at Grimes Novelties. The police may think it was being arson. Fascinating, I'm sure. Make it quick, please, and try not to bother Mr. Edwards. We were both up late last night in an antique dealer's convention in Mount Vernon. Oh, and we also went back to a hotel together. Oh, I wasn't meant to say that. There is an empty... There is a full ashtray and a set of blueprints on Mr. Edwards' desks. Look at that ashtray! Mr. Edwards must smoke! Yuck! What a gross habit! Agreed. The blueprints are that of the building where Grimes' novelty and gags is located. Grimes was so pushy about selling me his shop that he mailed me these blueprints. The building was okay, but the location is terrible for a novelty shop. It's part of the old downtown. The other buildings there may have been renovated and have been made much more upscale. You know, Swanks, the Egyptian theater. He must have had a rough time finding customers for a dribble of glasses in that neighborhood. Yes, well, time to solve our case. I think we have just enough time. Mr. Grimes, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's a good one. This one. Oh, I'm not in Seoul. I'm an idiot. All right. She said we're ready. Well, we should be ready. We've been everywhere. Done that one, and that one, and... Do, 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 do. And that one, and that one. And that one. Alright, it was Mr. Grimes, the sleazy bum. And we're gonna cut the video because otherwise we're not gonna have enough time. <laughs>